News at 5 starts now. Good evening, I'm Lauren Culver. And I'm Nicholas Pollock. Thank you for watching KX News. In tonight's top story, job fears in McLean County. Rumors are swirling regarding the future of one of North Dakota's cleanest power plants. KX News reporter Robert Sir went to Underwood, where people are already on edge. Between Underwood and Washburn lies Great River Energy's Coal Creek Power Plant. It's one of several coal-fired facilities that dot the North Dakota landscape. But with Great River Energy dealing with financial difficulties, the future of this plant could be in jeopardy. Be devastating. From Minot to Bismarck and all points west and east, it'll be, be a huge loss. That's the general sentiment people here in Underwood have about the rumors regarding what may or may not happen with the Coal Creek Station. Great River Energy told employees at a meeting in late January in Minnesota about financial issues facing the plant, which sent rumors of a possible closure spreading like wildfire. Leon Weisenberger is the mayor of Underwood and knows about mining firsthand. He works at the Freedom Mine near Beulah. He says a plant closure could spell the end of his town. I don't know that it could survive. There's a lot of cash flow here through the mine and the plant. I don't, I, I think Underwood, Washburn, Turtle Lake, you're looking at ghost towns. Several residents I spoke with echoed his thoughts. I hope it doesn't, but it would be, I mean, not just Underwood. I mean, it would hit all these small communities around here. It would, I mean, it would affect the whole county. It'd be tough. It would be really tough. There'd be a lot of people moving out looking for jobs. Um, we'd lose all these small communities for sure. It, it'd be totally devastating. A closure would be especially devastating, not just to the 265 workers at the plant, but the over 500 who work at the nearby Falkirk Mine, which has a life of the plant contract with Great River, meaning an end to the plant would ripple down to the mine. Falkirk Mine's lignite coal for Coal Creek. Steve Van Dyke with the Lignite Energy Council says the loss of Coal Creek would be a huge blow. Since 1988, basically in North Dakota, the lignite industry has been the old faithful of industries. We've produced about 30 million tons every year. We've paid the state about $100 million. So to lose an asset like that, you know, would really be a loss to the state of North Dakota. Great River Energy says it's putting together 13 teams to look at solutions for the plant, as well as conducting an analysis of the economic conditions facing Coal Creek, and any changes regarding the station will be announced at the appropriate time. But the cloud of uncertainty already hangs over hundreds of people's heads, and Mayor Weisenberger says it's starting to affect their day-to-day -day lives. A, a lot of people in town are, they're, they, I have talked to them that they can't sleep at night worried about when they go to work if what's going to be there for them if they're going to have a meeting stating that they, they have a year left they have two years left or, or months just a few months I, you know they they don't know a lot of these plant plants and mines can be shut down almost overnight reporting for kx news in underwood i'm robert sir now governor doug burgum's office has issued a statement to kx news saying He's committed to working with Great River Energy on finding a path forward for Coal Creek that preserves jobs, baseload electricity production, and the ethanol plant, which are important to local communities and the entire region. We continue to support research on carbon capture, utilization and storage, and other clean coal technology to ensure that lignite coal remains a viable power source for years to come in North Dakota. A new study says North Dakota ranks 21st for the most registered sex offenders.